Hello and welcome back to our fourth tutorial. So we'll continue from where we stopped the last time. Let's connect to our server um, using the L300 demo connection. Okay, yeah, so now we are at our workbench and then, um, yeah, we can what? Um, activate our schema or database. Yeah, so anytime we what, um, connect to what, um, the server, um, we have to what, activate a database. So I'm going to execute what, um, command two in the general demo script. So let's execute it. And then our DB um, 300 database is now active. So we can what, um, describe the tables we created previously. So we had what um, created the student table. Let's describe it. Okay, so once you what um, generate the output, you can pin the outputs. So I'm pinning the outputs. Um, now let's describe our course table. So describe um, course. Yeah, and then let's execute that as well. So we now have our course table. So this is the course table as well. Let's pin that so that we can what um, come back to this output later. And then um, let's describe um, our exam yeah table as well sorry it should be a semicolon yeah so i'm going to execute what um yeah the command and this is our exam table so we can pin that as well here and now we can navigate from what our student table yeah course table and then exam table okay so now we have all our tables there but um there is an issue with what um, the student table because um, we made the student ID um, the primary key. It means that um, yeah, the table will just be for one student and then um, yeah, every time we are entering a record, the record has to be for that particular I mean, student and that is not what we want. Um, we want to enter records for what I mean different students um, in that database. So I'll have to what um, drop um, the student table, sorry, um, the course table, and then what um, modify the the primary key. Okay, so to delete a table, we are going to what um, drop um, table drop table course so that was where we what uh, made a mistake so i'm going to what i uh, mean execute that and then our course um, table is dropped okay yeah so it means if we describe our course table um we'll get an error because i mean the course table doesn't exist um, just a while ago um, we were able to describe the course table which i have here that is the output two and now we try to, uh, to describe it and they are telling us it doesn't exist and it's because we have dropped the course table. So now that we have dropped the table, we can make the necessary modification. So that is one way to address um, problems. That is when you have not entered data into your table, you can always drop them and then what? Um, recreate them, make your modifications and recreate them. So um, this is our course table. The primary key was what um, the course and the student ID, I want to make the course code um, the primary key, okay? So course code is here. So we we'll just what um, replace the student ID with the course code. Yeah, so you have to be consistent um, in your naming. So, okay, so that is it. And then um, now we can what, um, execute it again. Yeah, let's execute our course code and then we have what recreated it. And then um, now if we go to describe what, um, let's go to the general script. Let's describe the table course. And then now we have the table course. But this time you can see that the course code is the primary key. Okay. So now we have the course code as, as our primary key. And then um, for our exam table, um, we have what um, the exam code as our primary key. And for the student table, we have what the student um, ID as our primary key. So now it's time for us to establish what I mean, a relationship between these three tables. And to do that, um, we are going to what, um, link them in order of what um, yeah, superiority. Yeah, because um, the students 
um, is what um, is a parent what um, entity. Yeah, if we look at it, um, the course depends on the student um, in some way. So without students, I mean, um, courses will be irrelevant. Um, so we will not create courses if we are not creating them for students to take. Yeah, so it means um, there should be somewhat I mean, hierarchy where the student is seen as what well, the parent table and then the course is what um, the child table. Yeah, and then when we look at even exam, yeah, exam will also be dependent on both course and then students um, because students have to take exam. So even if there is course and there's exam and there's no student to take, um, that is what, um, yeah, meaningless. It's, it's, it's not beneficial. So, um, so for it to be beneficial, then exam, um, students will have to take an exam, okay? So exam will depend on what the existence of students, okay? All right, so it means we even have a grandchild here. So the exam will depend on the course and also will depend on the students. Yeah, whilst the course only depend on what I mean, student. So there is a chain here. And if you are to link them, you link the children to, to their parents, okay? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, so a parent has to exist... Um, before a child so um, if we are making reference we make reference from what the children to the parents okay so um, and to create a relationship or a link between the tables um, you have to what identify a foreign key yeah so simply a foreign key is what any field or key field that is what common to what I mean two or more tables and then yeah, so um, if it is not there, you can what I mean, engineer your foreign keys, okay? Yeah, so let's look at I mean, all our tables. Do we have what some faults that are common? Yeah, so you can see that. Um, yeah, this is let's go to what um, the exam, sorry, the student table. So the student table, we have what student ID um, there. Do we have course code as part of what um, the student table? Okay, so let me extend it. Sorry, let me extend it. But we can also even look at the tables, okay? Yeah, so we can look at the tables. So, um, so student take courses. So we can put what course code as what? As an attribute of students, okay? Yeah, we can use course code as an attribute of students. And then... Um, yeah, we can also use exam code as an attribute of student because every student will have what I mean, their exam, particular exam codes that they take. Yeah, so, um, and then we can have student ID in all the tables as well because um, students will have to uh, take all the what, um, the students will take courses and they will take what, um, yeah, the exams as well. So um, there are so many options for us here. So I'm just going to use what, um, yeah, the, the course code, okay? Um, I'll use the course code. So it means we have to modify all our tables, okay? And to modify the tables, um, let's drop the tables before modifying them. Okay, so let's drop table course. Then let's drop table students. So I have the command here already. And then let's write a new command to drop table student uh, exam. Sorry, so drop our table exam. All right, now we can drop our exam table as well. Okay, the exam table is dropped, so it means we don't have what any table right now. If we try to describe any of our tables, we are going to get an error. So let me describe students. Yeah, it doesn't exist, so you can see the error in the output. And then let me describe course, then our course table doesn't exist because we just drop it. Now let's describe exam, and then our exam table doesn't exist. So we have dropped all our tables. So I'm also going to even close um, all the outputs here. We don't need them anymore. Okay, so we can clear the outputs so that we can have more space. Yeah. So now um, we've dropped all our tables. Let's go to modify the student table. So I can add a new what, um, 
column to the student table call um, yeah, course code because students are going to take courses so we have what um, our course code here and then um, it, it is character that is the data type and then the size is what eight so we maintain that and um, we'll have to declare it as unique yeah unique will allow us to index it so anytime what um, yeah you want to use a foreign key then your foreign key should be unique so we'll say um yeah course code um unique yeah so let's say course code sorry it has to be consistent and then we'll just de declare it as unique right okay so that is it and then we what put a comma here yeah okay so um we are making our course code unique um perhaps i'm getting the syntax wrong because there is an error here or it should rather be what um unique course code so let me reverse it and see yeah so let's say unique then um, we'll declare the course code as unique so let me put it in parentheses okay so that is it so we have to guess what i mean declare unique and then we'll what um put the course code in there okay so that is fine and then um, we have to also declare it unique in all the other what um yeah areas so here i will declare unique again unique um, so let's declare unique and then we'll what say course code because we intend to use it as what our foreign key yeah, so unique course code. Let me add a comma here and then um yeah the syntax is okay now. So let's go and what I uh, make um we we'll add what course code here as well because exams will have course code. So if there is no course code, we can add it here. Course code. Yeah, and then um character that is the data type, and then um the size is eight. Yeah, then we can go down and then what I mean declare the course code as unique. So let me go to the next line, then we'll say unique. Yeah, course code. So this will allow us to index um, the course code and then what to all right so this way when we are trying to what i mean create our links um it wouldn't give us issues so let's start by what i mean creating a link between what um the course and then um the students so what i said is that you should link what or you should reference your parents from the child okay yeah, so we are adding another line. So I'll just put a comma um, to the unique declaration. So um, to do that, um, our foreign key now is what the course code, because we said the course code is found in what all our table or is common to all our tables. So course code is our um, foreign key. So let's declare the foreign key. And then um, that is what course code and then we what reference the parent so references yeah the parent so that is students and then um what um indicate the field in the student table we are referencing and that is what course code again because course code um is a what it's not a field in the student table so we are referencing it and that will allow us to establish the link then we have to add what i mean on delete yeah so let's say on delete so when we are deleting um it should what um cascade the effect so on delete cascade so when we are deleting there should be a cascading effect and then on updates yeah then there should be a what i mean a cascading effect cascading means cross cutting effects yeah so it means um once we delete a record from what the student table 
yeah then the corresponding record in the word course table should be what i mean deleted as well so if there is no student there cannot be a record for what the a course record for the student if a student doesn't exist that particular student should not have what course records that is just inaccurate okay so um then um, on update so let's say um we are updating what something about what the student yeah maybe the student id or name yeah the, the effect should also what um be applied to what the course table yeah so if the id was wrong and we have corrected it it means it should be corrected in the what the course table as well so that is the mean on, on update cascade yeah so um that is it um we've connected the course table to what to our student table okay so that is fine so now we can go to what um, the exam table and then what i mean create um the links as well so we are now connecting what the child to the parents okay so we are connecting what exam to course and then exam to what um, students so we are connecting what um the child exam to what the parent course and then we are connecting what the grandchild exam to what to the grandparent what um students so that is what we are doing so the foreign key is the course code because it's found in what all our tables okay so foreign key sorry foreign key then we what um declare our course code as our foreign key course code sorry um I'm having issues with my keyboard okay that is fine now okay so our foreign key is course code references references um we are referencing course for now so the immediate parent is course so let's reference course and then um we are referencing what the foreign key in the course table as well so that will be what i'm in course code yeah so on delete cascade and then on updates cascade okay so now um we are done with what um our link to the course table now let's add a link to what to the student table yeah, so um, we we'll use the foreign key again. So foreign key um, course code because it's found in what um, the student table um, and then the exam table as well. So course code. So we could also use the student ID as the foreign key. Okay. Yeah. So references. Yeah. So references. What I mean, students. And then um, the course code again so you just bring the foreign key again okay yeah after referencing you bring the foreign key so that is as simple as that so on delete yeah so on delete cascade and then on updates yeah, cascade okay so this is it and then now um we can what um create our table so um the if you look at all our tables um there is no syntax error but um we have to what execute them in order of what um yeah um parenthood okay so if there is no parent they cannot be a child so let's try to what Defy that what order so we'll start by creating our exam table and then that will give us an error because um the exam table is a child that what depends on the parent and the parent are not existent so if your parent was not created you cannot be what created okay so let's try that you see there is an error there and then now let's go to try to create the course we'll get an, another error because the courts need a parent to exist and the parent doesn't exist so let's execute the students which is what um, the parent or the grandparents um, for the exam 
So let's execute the student and then the student is created. Now let's come back to execute what? The course. Yeah, the course will also be created. But if we go to execute the what? The exam, the exam will not be created because the exam will still need their course. So let's try that and you see. Yeah, so you can see that our exam table still have what I mean issues because the parent is not there. And then um, let's let's go to our the course. Yeah, and then we'll execute the course. Okay, now we have our course. That means that um, the the grandchild exam has what um, the parent and the grandparent, and now we can what execute the exam and then it will be successful. So you should understand the order, okay? The parent has to come, then the what um, the child and then the grandchildren, okay? Yeah, so that makes sense. So um, we now have what um, all our tables. And we can what um, reverse engineer. So let's go to database, reverse engineer, and this time we'll find our links there. So let's what um, select the connection, which is what the L300 demo. So by default, it's selected for me here, and then I'll hit next, and hit next, and then I'll select my schema. That is the DB300 schema. I'll hit next. I'll hit next, and then execute. Okay, so let's hit next and then finish. So now um, we have what um, all our tables, and then you can see that this time the tables are coming with links. So let me well, drag the bed eye view, and then I'll drag them up. Yeah, so let's let's move up so that we can what well, focus on all our three tables. So we have what the course exam and then we have the students so this is our really relational database okay this is our relational database and you can see that we have what all the tables related okay so right now um, we have what I mean a relational database made up of our students course and then exam so this is our relational database for the student um, record management um, system okay so i'm going to end this video here um the next video we are going to what um alter yeah we are going to add some more um columns to what our exam table but we are going to talk about what um the the class score um the ex final exam score the grade um, and then we can even add a comment, I mean, and so on. So that will be for our next video um, in the series. So we will end here and then see you in our next video. Bye.